last game we're playing Disney Villainous. Um, and there are a lot of pieces for this game. So we'll just start with the most basic ones right now. So these are power. They're basically like money. Um, these are lock tokens. And if on your board you have a lock token on the bottom corner, then you put that there and nothing can go on it. These are um, cards. So there are four different cards in every deck. There is an item, which you follow what it says here. It takes this much power to play this, and when you play it, it goes at the bottom. This is an ally. It costs this many tokens to play, and that's how much power it has. And when you play them, they go on the bottom as well. This is an effect. This is how much it costs to play. And when you're done with the effect, you put it in the discard. And the condition, you play during other people's turns. And it also goes in the discard. Um, and these are fate cards. So, in a fate, in a fate deck, you get 16. So, there are uh, heroes, which you get to place on um, an opponent's board. Uh, so you can place it if if the um, if their board is locked, you cannot place it here. You can place it here, here, or here, on top, so it's covering those. So I want to place John here. Um, there's also items. So items you attach to any hero. So I'll attach to John. And there's effects which you play straight into the discard pile, and you do what it says. And uh, the fate token, if you're playing a 5-6 to six, um, game, um, you use this. So if you get faded, which we'll talk about fading later, um, you get this. That means you cannot be faded twice in a row. Um, action symbols. Um, on your board, there are action symbols. And this is what they mean. That means gain a power over here. So you can um, play cards. Uh, play a card which is, you can play these cards. Activate. Some people um, have activate on their cards and boards, uh, and you just activate the card. This is a fate symbol, so you get to play fate cards on another person, um, which are these. And move an item or ally. So you can move an item to an adjacent unlocked location. Or ally, item or ally. Uh, there's move a hero. Um, only some people have it. You can move a hero. Uh, it's just like move an item, except you get to move heroes. Uh, vanquish. That means um, uh, defeat the hero. Um, so let's pretend John didn't have pixie dust. So uh, John is a uh, strength of two, and my ally is a strength of two. So that means they're equal. It can be either equal or more. Um, to defeat the hero. So, if you land on a vanquish spot, like that, everyone has it, um, you get to defeat the hero. So then you'd remove the hero and the ally, because they both get defeated. Um, next is discard cards. So you're going to have a hand of four, and then you get to discard as many cards as you want. And then uh, you just pick up up to four and it's left for its turn. Um, so now we're going to talk about each character individually. Uh, we'll start with Captain Hook. So your colored cards, so your good cards, go on the left side, and the fake cards go on the right side. So each villain um, has a villain guide. So it's basically instructions excited of how you win as Captain Hook and all his cards. Um, uh, there's his piece. You and you place the piece right um, on his board. Captain Hook um, actually starts with a lock 
on here because he has that in the corner. So you put that there and now you can't place any cards here and Captain Hook cannot move here. So the most important um, card in his deck here is this one. You can't win without this card. So Neverland Map, once it's played, it can be played anywhere you want. Let's say it's played here. Then you take off the lock. And now this is open. So you can play cards here and Captain Hook can move there. And um, Fates. So he needs Peter Pan to win. And Peter Pan is in the Fate deck because he's a hero. Peter Pan. So, um, there's cards to get Peter Pan for Captain Hook, and once you get him, you place him on Hangman's Tree, and there's a hero move, so you move him all the way to the Jolly Roger, and once you have a whole bunch of allies to defeat, so like equal to eight, um, you get to vanquish Peter Pan, and you win the game, because that's his objective, to meet Peter Pan at the Jolly Roger. So now we're going to talk about Ursula. So same as Captain Hook, piece goes there. Um, yep, yeah. and then she's a villain guide again. Instructions. Um, yep. Yeah. And um, so she has a lock too, just like Captain Hook. And the cards in her deck that you need are. The trident, the crown, and she also has this, but we're going to get to that later. So, these two. When you play the trident, wherever you play it, then King Triton appears, which is in the Fate deck. And he goes, or wherever you put the trident, wherever location, he goes, so let's say we place it there. He takes the trident, so and you can't defeat him until, you can't get the trident until you defeat him. And to defeat him, use binding contracts. So binding contracts, when you play a binding contract on a hero, you have to move the hero to that location in order to defeat them. So this one is the shore, so if you play it on him. If you move him to the shore, he goes in this card, the binding contract goes in this card, and the trident, because you play it here, goes back here. The crown, um, you can look at the top two cards of your fate deck and either discard both cards or return them to the top in any order. And play it there. You have to start your turn with these at Ursula's Lair in order to win. And there are different binding contracts. There's an Ursula's Lair, Eric's ship, the shore, and the palace. Um, and so uh, that's Ursula. Um, so this is Queen of Hearts. Same as all the other villains. Same setup. Uh, villain guide instructions. Um, uh, she has no lock, um, so she can go anywhere on the board she wants. And the cards in her deck are these are the most important ones, and this one is one that nobody else has. So, um. <clears throat> you have to play these card guards, so you can play them anywhere. And when you activate them, you turn them sideways like this, and now they are considered a wicket. So, there are different strength numbers. There's a 3 and a 2. And once you have one wicket, at least one wicket at each, um location, then you can take the shot, which means you flip up the first five cards, you 
add up the cost and you add up the strength of your wickets. So you'd have two more, so we're not gonna like do the whole thing. But if it's a tie, or queen, the queen of hearts does not win. She has to have more. This makes you smaller one. If you have um, a hero on the board and you play this, you can make it smaller. So you can do that, whichever way you want. And then the Queen of Hearts can do three things when she goes here. Um, and another fate card that's really important, that um, that's really special, is and uh, makes you larger cards. Let's say Dodo wasn't shrunk. So it makes you larger. Well, say he was. You can either um, turn a hero back normal, or let's say he's like this. You can go like that or like that, and he covers up all four of those symbols. Uh, so that's Queen of Hearts. Um, so our next villain is Prince John. So he's only other villains. And he does not have a lock over here. Yep. And his board is weird because um, the jail, it does not have any um, symbols on top. So if you, um, you can't put a hero here, but he has cards in prison, which can move. So let's say there's a hero here. You can move the hero to the jail so it's not covering up any symbols. But you still have to follow what it says. Yeah. Um, so, um, Prince John isn't... Um, his objective is just to get 20 power and start his turn with 20 power. Um, so he's not confusing at all. He doesn't really have any special cards. And there is another card that we want to point out. So the warrant, if it's on here, and let's say you put, play a hero right there, then Prince John gains 2 power. Um, so that's Prince John. So Jafar, he has a villain guide. Um, he's pretty confusing, so just put his decks there. Um, so he does have a lock on the Cave of Wonders. Um, so um, let's talk about this. So he has three cards that you need in order to win. The first one you need is this. So you need to play this one first. Then this removes the lock, and then that allows you to play the magic lamp, which you play here, and when you play it, the genie appears. So if you put it on the top, like King Triton, yeah. it takes the magic lamp, and once you have all these, then you can play Hypnotize, which you can either defeat him with like enough allies and then the magic lamp comes here or you can hypnotize him so you have to have enough power so the genie is six but he gets plus two strength if the magic lamp is here so it, it would cost eight power to hypnotize him once he hypnot once he's hypnotized you put him here and then you have to move him to here and in order to move him, there is some cards in here to move him here. And then you have to start your turn with the magic lamp at Sultan's Palace. And yeah, there is, you use this to move the genie, that symbol right there. You have an ally or item. So you can move the magic lamp or whatever. Same thing in way. And you have to get him all the way to Sultan's Palace. And that's Jafar. Uh, so our last villain is Maleficent. So uh, she's kind of different because she has another category of cards, which are curses. So she has three three curses. 
Dreamless Sleep, all heroes at this location get minus two, and it's discarded when an ally is played here. This one is discarded if Maleficent is there, moves there, and this one gets discarded if a hero over four gets placed here. So you have to have a curse at each location in order to win. So let's say you had a curse here, which we'll get right there. Then if you started your turn with this, then you would win. Yeah. There's not really any important things in the fate deck, but there is um, one. King Stefan, if you have, if somebody has the Green Fire Curse and Forest of Thorn, Thorns Curse, if you place him here, because he's over four, you also get to move him, move Maleficent to Green Fire. So, two curses. So, he, if she has the right curses, he's probably the best fake card, I think, anyways. So, uh, that's Maleficent, and she does not have a lock. I'm King Stephen's castle, and that's Maleficent, and that's Villainous.